you are a doing woman. You don't say, I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to build this. I'm trying to change this. Now you're like, we're doing this. We're freaking doing this. There is no option but to succeed. There is no option but to expand. It's time to stop spinning your wheels, wasting time, money, and energy building your brand alone on social media. Hi, I'm Sophia Spolino, the host of Social Equity, the podcast, here to help you build your own profitable personal brand, the social equity you can rely on to make the money that you deserve. Are you ready, Miss Future Millionaire? Let's get into it. Welcome back to Social Equity. I'm your host, Sophia Spolino. I'm so honored that you join me. I love being your teacher. I love being your big sister in business, whether you're younger than me, whether you're older than me. Actually, most of my clients are significantly older than me. (laughs) I love it. Uh, If you're new here, hi, my name is Sophia Spolino. I'm 31 years old, but I am a very, very, very old, old soul who loves Frank Sinatra, Doris Day. I'm super spiritual. I happen to be a lesbian who loves Jesus, appreciates the teachings of Buddha, and loves all people. I write spiritual music, I play the harp, and I've built a multi-six-figure business making fifteen dollars to $50,000 every single month, all because I know how to leverage social media and business strategy. And I love teaching you how to do it. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, today's episode is going to be covering the four limiting beliefs that I am not bringing in to quarter two of 2024. And I think that you should take a look at what happened in quarter one from January, February, March, and as we go into quarter three, go in refining, not only refining our strategies on social media, because I'm big on strategy and action. I'm not one of those people that's going to tell you, oh yeah, yeah, just believe and you will receive. It is all about having your mindset and your action plan unified together and you are a person who is in integrity with yourself you are not going against yourself saying that you believe you're going to have all this abundance but yet not taking the action towards it and I want to be someone to help you I know that whenever I was getting started building my brand I was a very driven person and if someone told me the next right step to take, I would have just taken it. I wouldn't have wasted time. So that's what I'm doing for you today. I know if you're listening to this, you are a doing woman. You don't say, I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to build this. I'm trying to change this. Now you're like, we're doing this. We're freaking doing this. There is no option but to succeed. There is no option but to expand. And if that's your mindset, then you will have a big business because truly our ability to solve problems again and again, listen to me, your ability to solve problems again and again will determine how successful you are. When you're able to solve high level problems, When you're able to reach high level depths in someone's spirit, you are able to make a lot of money. When you solve the next problem that comes up, you're able to grow your business. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's super easy to be an entrepreneur. No, When there's a problem to solve and you are your own boss, you have no one else to go to other than God to say, help me solve this and send me the right people who can help me solve my problem, who can give me the right perspective, who can lead me down the right way. Other than that, it is on you to figure it out. So I pray that as you listen to this episode, Something unlocks in you where you're able to solve whatever problem you're facing and you realize that 
in two weeks from now, that problem will appear a lot smaller and that you're the kind of woman who doesn't look at a problem and think it's big. You're a woman who looks at a problem and goes, aha, (laughs) I can handle that. I'll figure it out. I always do. With that being said, and starting with this attitude, here are the four small-minded, basic-ass business thoughts that I'm not bringing into quarter two of 2024 and why, and why you shouldn't either. Number one, believing 30K months are big. Okay, so let me break this down to you. We all have energetic minimums and maximums. And maybe you've had a personal number per month that felt really big and scary to hit before. So let's just break this down. If you thought that $10,000 a month was like a lot, a lot in the most amount that you could make, but you knew that you would never have less than $3,000 a month in your bank account come in every single month, then your energetic minimum that you're used to getting is $3,000 and your energetic maximum is like, wow, um, I've hit 10,000 once or I believe I could hit it. So that's my maximum. And somewhere in the middle, we have like this comfortable number and maybe for you that's five or $7,000 a month. So you end up believing that eight, nine, $10,000 a month is a lot. Those are big months because it becomes your energetic maximum numbers closer to your energetic maximum and I want you to flip this over where your energetic maximum becomes your medium and you raise the bar for yourself it is time to raise the bar quarter two is time to raise the bar season if you're listening to this I want you to DM me time to raise the bar and it will be a little Instagram Inside joke between me and you, time to raise the bar. Say, I'm listening to the podcast, Sophia. So what is that number for you? If your energetic maximum in the past was 10,000, I challenge you to raise it to 15,000. If your energetic maximum was 15,000, I challenge you to raise it to 25,000 and start making your minimums higher because When we're in our lowest vibration, our lowest mindset moments, feeling some kind of block, feeling a little insecure, we end up falling back into hitting those lower energetic numbers. So raise your lower energetic number. So if it was 4,000, okay, your lowest energetic number, let's make it 7,000. Let's make it 10,000. That's the least amount that you can make. That is all you are available for. I write a note to myself. It's like, I'm only available for this number minimum. I'm only available for this number minimum in savings. I'm only available for this number minimum in my Roth IRA. I'm only available for this number minimum of clients coming in, right? So replace those energetic minimums and maximums because you have to reframe what you thought was huge in the past. Now that I know that 15 to 50K is normal, it's time for me to readjust my normal and my lowest to being 25, 30K on a bad quote unquote month, right? So what number could be normal for you if you decide it is and you take action on it? What number is that for you? I want you to get super, super clear. What number is your normal? What number becomes your energetic maximum of, wow, that will be amazing. What number becomes your energetic minimum of nothing less? We ain't going lower than that. Okay, two, the second thing is the belief that it will take time to get there. Okay, sure. If you think it will take a year, then it will. If you leave yourself space to get an activity done, time to get something done, then you're going to take that long to do it, right? Like if you ever put something off and it actually takes you up until the last minute to get it done, it's because you believed it would take you that long to get it done and you gave yourself that space. Your beliefs shape for your reality and anything can shift in a day. With God, action, the right strategy, which I have, my five-phase PPP blueprint, look, you can do anything. Up, root the arbitrary timeline 
it's secretly holding you back from the wild, wild west level of action. Because if you didn't have that timeline and if it had to be done tomorrow and if you knew it could be done tomorrow, you'd be taking wild, wild west level action. You'd be like balls to the wall, excited to do it right now. So not it will take time to get there. Oh my God, like what's happening tomorrow? What's shifting tomorrow? What's shifting right in this moment? Okay, three, asking yourself, did I come across too harsh? Look, if you hired a trainer, trainer, (laughs) my little lisp comes out sometimes. If you hired a trainer to help you build muscle and lose weight and the trainer tatad you and said, you don't have to get up and go to the gym today, would you get results? If the trainer literally texted you and was like, you don't have to do it today, it's okay, would you love that you paid someone to go easy on you and not get results? Or would you eventually feel resentment towards them like, oh my God, like I got nowhere. I just wasted time and energy and money. I went sometimes, I showed up sometimes for myself. I showed up sometimes for my business. Sometimes I posted, sometimes I sold, sometimes I didn't. Look, this quarter two, it's time to really show up for yourself and your clients not going easy, not tatting, telling them what real action they need to take to get real results. Tell them what's holding them back so they don't make excuses. If you want to be successful and share client results, you need clients to actually take action. Maybe that's raising your prices so they feel led to actually do the work and follow through on themselves and they would actually get results and you'd have great testimonials that you could share. So stop people pleasing. It's only holding your clients back and it's holding you back from incredible testimonials. Okay, four, the most insidious belief of all. I make enough money. Now, there's a difference between being ungrateful and only chasing dollar signs and shooting for the stars because you believe you have a huge purpose. So if you're ungrateful and only chasing dollar signs, that's not what I'm talking about by saying Let's leave. I make enough money in the past. I'm saying if you believe you have a huge purpose, then you would believe you haven't helped enough people yet. There's more people to help. There's more money to make. There's more evidence of transformation to see. When I help a woman and there's that exchange of revenue, when I help a woman, she helps hundreds of clients. Now, say I do that a thousand times, then I'm indirectly shifting and affecting a hundred thousand lives. There's a trickle down effect. Don't you see? That's how it worked for you. When you touch someone with the gift God gave you and you help them and you provide that service that is life changing for them and shift something, they're able to go live their life with more peace, more freedom, more love, more money, whatever it is that you're offering them. And they get to expand their lives, with the, which expands the lives of other people. They touch. You're indirectly shifting so many lives. So many stories are being changed. Chains are being broken off because of you and the decision you made to share the decision you made to sell the decision you made to show up for that client so for the love of God live your purpose it's not about you it's about her the one your ideal client whose life you change it's about her the people in her lives the lives that she will impact it's about impact don't make it just about you and don't be afraid of saying, now I want more money. I want to make more money because more money is more impact and there's nothing wrong with that. There's also nothing wrong with just saying, I want a more abundant life. I want more abundance financially. If other people can do that, I can do that. I would be a great steward. I'd be a great appreciator of the money and manage my finances so well and I would do all these things and have all this freedoms and travel all these places there's nothing wrong with having or wanting more money so get rid of the I make enough money I'm good 
get rid of that statement. So just to recap, the four things we're leaving in quarter one. X, K months are big, whatever that number is for you, whatever you thought was your big, let it freaking go. And we're going bigger. Two, it will take time to get there. No, it will take as much time as you want it to be. If you get excited about it and you're all in on it and you're taking action on it and you're in full belief and agreement of it, things can shift now. Things can shift overnight. My client, Coach Root, she was with me for two months so far. And in one week, a week ago, she grew 37,000 followers in a one-week window on Instagram. Anything can happen. If she believed it would take time to get there, if she believed it would take five years to get there, sure. But she didn't. She just went all in and it took her a week from a viral video for that to happen. And yes, she learned how to make a viral video really strategically, really quickly in my program. Less than two months. So proud of you, Coach Reed. Three, we're leaving. Did I come across too harsh? Because when we soften the truth, when we sugarcoat, when we tata our clients, we aren't helping them and we aren't helping ourselves. We're allowing them to stay small. And when you're in my world, I'm not allowing you to stay small. Mm -mm. No, 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 ma'am. And for the most insidious one of all, I make enough money. Nope. No, nope, no, nope, it's not enough. Not enough. There's more people to reach. There's more women to help. There's more money to be made. And if you agree, can I get an amen? <laughs>Congratulations for listening to another episode of the Social Equity Podcast. Every moment you invest in building your brand is contributing to your social equity. If you're an exhausted coach or service provider, or you're just getting started building your brand from scratch, I can't wait to give you the first steps to go from zero to 5K months and advance to 10 to 20K months. But why should you take my word for it? Well, I've spent over nine years in the industry amassing over 350,000 followers across platforms like Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube, as well as hosting a top charting podcast, building a successful service provider business, and coaching powerful women to build purposeful, profitable personal brands. So yeah, you should lean in and listen to the social media secrets, sales tips, marketing strategies, and mindset hacks I share. I want to help you build your dream business that makes real money, leveraging the power of a personal brand on social media. Because you're ready to quit wasting time on content that isn't working and start bringing in the money you deserve as a purpose-led coach or service provider, sharing your gifts with the world. So for a limited time, I'm giving away your first steps to go from zero to 5K months and advance to 10K to 20K months. Grab my newly revamped Profitable Personal Brand Blueprint, the proven framework to build yourself a personal brand that motivates, inspires, and sells so that your business can thrive the way it should. Just go to the link in the show notes. To ask me questions in real time, join me on Instagram Live for the live podcast show. The schedule is always posted on my profile. My handle is at Sophia Spolino. And if you're tired of posting without a reliable strategy and posting without maximal profit, just like many of my clients were before, then you want to join the Profitable Personal Brand six-month coaching program. Many of you asked how you can get me to coach you on building a profitable personal brand like the one I have. That's why I designed this coaching program, so you could have me coach you, guide you, and mentor you. This is for female coaches, service providers, and entrepreneurs who want to be known for purposeful work and build an extremely profitable personal brand on social media without wasting time. Whether you're a novice at creating or you're feeling stuck hitting a plateau in business that once had consistent revenue and need guidance, support, and coaching to get to your next level, book a strategy call to speak with either me or my team to see if we'd be the right fit to work with each other inside of the Profitable Personal Brand six-month coaching program. 
mind you, I am very selective and this coaching program is not for everyone because I'm only taking on serious, purpose-driven and committed soul sisters inside of my community. If that's you, book your free strategy call now. The link is in the show notes. And if you feel yourself come alive and get excited to take radical responsibility for building your social equity, your personal brand that no one can take from you, leave a five-star rating with a kind review wherever you listen to podcasts and be sure to share the show with a powerful woman you know. And remember, with a positive mindset and a profitable personal brand, all things are possible. So go get up and go get what you want.